The Tao of Self-Confidence, episode 494. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have an amazing woman on the show today. She is a self-producing music artist, and I'm really excited to have her on today to share her story on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Marie Xiao. Marie, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on here. So yeah, I'm a Marie. I'm a, like you said, I'm, I'm a musical artist. And I do from, you know, the writing to the recording to production, I do that pretty much myself. And yeah, I've been doing music professionally, I think for maybe seven years, at least, you know, like selling my music online in that sense. So it's, it's been really, really wonderful. And um, that's, sort of my little intro. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Marie, what's your cultural background? So my dad is from Taiwan and my mom is from Bulgaria. Thanks for sharing that. And what'd be your favorite self-confidence quote? I guess there are a lot, but one that I really look to when I'm feeling a little low or just insecure about myself is this one that was that I found in this book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. It's a a quote by George Tooker. It says that, you know, a painting is an attempt to come to terms with life. There are as many solutions as there are human beings. And whenever I'm doubtful, it reminds me that each individual has the potential to bring value to this world. And we do that simply by being ourselves and trusting our gut because there's no one way to live life and trying to fit ourselves into molds is doing a disservice to ourselves in the world. So um, that one's always kind of been helpful for me. Thanks for sharing that. And I, you know, I love that quote. I love how you explain like there's no one way of living, right? Especially, you know, we've been taught that there is only one way to live. We have to remind ourselves like, you know, there there's different ways to live life, right? And the best thing is you can choose on how you want to live that life, right? Regardless of what happens. And it's not always going to be easy, but it's always going to be worth it. So thanks for sharing that quote. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? I think my definition of self-confidence is, you know, to be proud of your personality and your strengths and your likes without holding your weaknesses against you. You know, there's so many things about us that we cannot choose. Like, you know, we can't choose our, our interests and preferences and affinities and they make us who we are. And it, it gives the world so much color and beauty and interesting perspectives. Thanks for sharing that definition. And I love how you mentioned, you know, being proud of your strengths and not holding your weaknesses against you because we're so great on, you know, nitpicking on what's wrong with us. And, you know, sometimes our weaknesses can actually actually be our greatest strengths, right? So it's 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 a great reminder, especially, you know, when it comes to self-confidence and being our true selves and loving ourselves. So thanks for sharing that definition. And what was what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Well, I've always kind of struggled with being introverted growing up and um, in school, I was called the shy girl and I would, you know, I wouldn't really raise my hand in class even, but if I was called on, I would, you know, say my answer. And I mean, I did well academically. I was a good student, but my issue was that I, I always felt like no one really knew the true me and they were they had this image of me that was just not complete you know just because i'm quiet doesn't mean there's nothing else that goes on in my head or i don't have interesting thoughts so that was kind of my struggle throughout uh, my childhood and teenage years before i found that i can use music as a way to kind of counteract that and show people that i had something to offer other than just being the polite shy girl. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, that's something we all go through, right? Especially as Asian women, we're always taught to like, like what you mentioned, be the polite girl, be the good daughter, the good wife or sister, whatever it is. And it's like, if we go outside of that, we're considered like disobedient and wild and crazy. And 
and and then we we're not our true selves right it's like people just think we're, we're this quiet person but inside of us you know there's so many wonderful gifts talents and skills that we can offer and like you, you mentioned music um helped you do that and you know what was that aha moment when you realized like music was what helped you become the your your true self what was that aha moment that was when I had entered into my uh, middle school talent show. I it, I finally felt like, you know, I, I've been playing piano since I was a kid. And up until then, I, I had recently figured out I have this voice I can use and I can sing and play. And I just finally felt like in my gut this, I can't turn away from this. I have to show people some, like this is something else that I, I have to offer. And, you know, it still surprises me that I you know, something compelled me to write my name on that audition sheet. Because like I said, up until then, I was, I was, you know, the, the, the shy one in the corner, but I did it and I, and I sung and I actually won the talent show. And that was kind of the aha moment for me, because all of my fears in that moment when I won just disappeared. And I, I felt truly confident and just so proud of myself. And I really, really valued the way that I had come to that, you know, I, it took it, because of my quiet tendencies, I'm, I pay attention to detail and I, you know, spend time listening more than, I guess, speaking. I, I guess I'm just trying to say I'm more observant and than some of my peers at the time. And so I, I finally felt like, you know, it's a strength of mine just because I'm not talking doesn't mean I don't have anything to say. So that was really the moment that gave me the confidence. And that's when I started posting uh, YouTube videos, singing covers and, and doing some original music. And just seeing that positive feedback was it just kept me going and going and going. So, yeah, that the moment was was that middle middle school talent show. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And that's a that's an amazing story you shared, right? You know, just having the guts to even sign your name. I know it was probably like the scariest moment of your life at that time. And then after you won, you're like, it wasn't as bad as you think, right? But it happens to all of us. <laughs> you know, you look back and it's like, oh, I'm glad I did it, right? And, you know, you're able to now showcase your music and showcase your true self. And because you're because of that, what's your life been like now? I, I just feel so lucky that I had found my my calling at a young age and that I was able to to pursue it. So now when I'm making music, I have this kind of foundation, this really strong group of of people who had been with me from the beginning when I started posting on YouTube that like will always kind of hopefully be there for me when I'm creating. So what, when I'm doing it now, it's not so much that I feel like I'm taking this huge, scary leap. You know, I have people that trust me and that appreciate my music. So that is, it's like, it just kind of flows easier than it may have when I was younger and, and more insecure. Thanks for sharing that. And, and Marie, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What'd be that one tip you would give to her? I'd say that, you know, everybody has doubts and insecurities, no matter how successful or perfect their life may seem, you know, it's something that everyone thinks about and that, you know, it's not uncommon to feel like you're the odd one out. But knowing that, you know, it's, it's okay to follow what your inner self is saying, even if it might be against status quo or what people think you should or shouldn't be doing, you know, just because I've experienced that too, even with relatives of mine who don't quite understand why I'm pursuing this and how it works. And, you know, sometimes if you're venturing out into the creative field, it may to some people seem more of like a hobby thing than like your actual career, which can be a little disheartening. But just know that if, if your heart is there and you know that you're supposed to do this, then you should do it. Thanks for sharing that great tip. And I love how you mentioned, you know, to follow what your inner self is saying, because we're so, you know, as women, we're so quick to just turn that down, right? Our, our gut feeling, our intuition, and it, you know, it keeps haunting us until we just go out there and do it. And sometimes it shows us to places that we can't even explain, but you just know it feels right, like with you and your music. And yeah, you know, sometimes there's relatives or friends that don't understand what you do, but as long as you understand what you're doing and it feels good and you're creating a positive impact, then, you know, there's nothing stopping you. So I'm glad that you're able to do that. And thanks again for that tip. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little, a little bit more about you and check out some of your music, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? 
Absolutely. If you, you know, if you're on Spotify or iTunes or whatever kind of music platform you use, if you just type in M-R-E-E, then my music should show up there. And yeah, and I have got my videos on YouTube as well. And, you know, same goes for that. Just search my name and um, I should be up there. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Marie, you can also head on over to the TauofSelfConfidence.com and search for Marie's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just really want to thank Marie today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Marie. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Sign up for our free membership site to get more amazing resources for self-confidence by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.